guys, welcome to a new video, and we are going to be changing up our phone case again this month, because it didn't change it last month because it was in pretty good condition and I love, I love the design so much, so I didn't change it, but now we're going to change it. So let me take out my phone because we don't really want it there, and now we are going to peel off our previous design and as you, as you can see it peels off so nicely and so easily but it's a little bit there's a little specks of paint left but it's fine look it came out in one piece that's great and that's all because of the Arteza paints and I did wash my phone and clean it up and we don't need masking tape this time we're gonna use clay when I came up with this idea I was so excited to do it so let's get to it. So what we're gonna do first is make a template for our phone case because we are gonna do it with clay and I like using parchment, pla parchment paper because when you roll out the clay, it could stick to your surface. So if you use parchment paper, then it won't stick. So I traced my phone case and now I'm cutting it out and I'm gonna refine the template a lot because you want it essentially kind of perfect because you're gonna use this as a template for cutting out your clay and you don't want your clay piece to be too big or too small for your phone case but I suggest that you make your template a little bit bigger because I think clay shrinks. Well, I'm pretty sure it doesn't. I think it's just mine. My clay is super old, so you'll see what happens to it when it gets baked, but I honestly think it's fine because it still turns out the same way and we are going to paint it. So let's start doing this. So I don't have a rolling pin, so I just use my exacto blade handle part and I haven't told haven't told you guys what I'm gonna do but I'm gonna do the little nightmares door thing to the thin man so yeah so I rolled it out pretty thin because I don't want extra a lot of extra weight on my phone because it's not good so I'm using a, a palette knife to cut out my pieces and I'm not using an exacto blade because I think it's just a little bit easier. So now I'm going to cut out the phone, I mean the camera hole, but you'll see my mistake later, <laughs> but we'll just carry on from there. So now I'm going to get another piece of clay and rolling it out thin so I'm making a border. But at first, I was going to freehand it, which I'm doing right now, but like, I didn't like it because I'm such a perfectionist, so I didn't want to, so I made another template of the whole door thing, the border, the borders, and the eye in the middle, and just making it perfect, the edges even, thick an even thickness with my ruler, <laughs> so... That's what I'm doing here, and I did little quarter circles, and I cut the, I cut them out, and now I'm rolling the template onto the clay a little bit so it sticks, and I'm also gonna cut that out. I'm cutting that out with my palette knife again, to the inside, and I'm going to peel that off and trying to tra I'm gonna try to transfer it onto my rolled out piece of clay that I cut out for my phone but I think I rolled it on the wrong side of the parchment paper so it was kind of sticky so it's okay I'll try to salvage as much as I can but I'll just roll out another thin piece cut out another border it's gonna be fine so now I'm gonna make the eye and it does take me quite a long time so I'll leave you guys with some music
to it. However, after quite some time and a lot of refining, just a dome for the eye and then some tubes above the eye and below and a panel of a sheet over those tubes to create the eyelids and after that it's just pasting it onto the phone case or the piece that we made and now we're just smoothing out the edges and I took a long time to just refine it, refine the shape, taking out a lot of the clay because it was a bit thick and you don't want to make it too thick because you're going to have to hold your phone and I'm taking a toothpick and running it over the clay to make it look like wood, <laughs> wood texture and I'm just cleaning up everything before I bake it and here you go. I have baked it and it kind of burnt a little but that's fine because we're going to paint it over and yeah. <laughs> this is the frustrating part where I realized I cut the camera hole in the wrong corner. So that's fine. I'm just gonna patch it up and bake it again and just cut out my camera hole in the correct spot this time and hopefully I don't mess it up because I don't think I could but maybe I can. But I'm just cutting that out with an X-Acto blade and just refining it just taking a little bit off and I want to crack it because it's very bad. And now on to painting. So for paint I'm just using Apple Barrel. Very cheap, just Walmart paint. But I honestly love these paints because they dry so quickly. And they're kind of good quality but they're very cheap. But the tones I'll be using are dark browns and it's more of a grayish brown but I'm gonna try to match the color from the video game Little Nightmares so that's what I'm doing right now a lot of lighter browns and blacks so I'm getting a piece of paper and just painting it on and after a couple of coats it looks pretty opaque and now I'm taking just different shades of brown and dry brushing it on dry brushing is just taking a dry brush and dipping it a little bit of paint and just running it over really quickly over it so it catches the little details and what I did was deepen the edge a lot with some black and I think that looks pretty good and I have fabric no not fabric matte medium which I'm pretty sure you're supposed to mix with your paints and not just paint it on as a top coat but I'll just use it as a top coat because I don't have anything else and I wanted it to be matte and not shiny so after I put on a layer of that just didn't want to pour into a container so I'm just pouring onto the clay piece with the brush and quickly washing off my brush just letting that dry and it actually turned out pretty well I thought it was gonna turn out shiny but of course as the label said turned out bad. Now we're gonna have to glue it onto our phone case which I just use wood glue and since phone cases are a bit plasticky it really doesn't fit that well. Well it really doesn't stick that well but it does stick. I just like doing it because you can peel it off after and it's not permanent. So I put back on my phone as you can see because I'm gonna need it pressed down and I want to have a solid surface underneath but just be careful not to get glue on your phone area. So I'm just spraying that out with my finger, just getting the glue out of the camera hole, and just pressing that on really tightly for just a couple minutes or a couple seconds. Just press it down really good so it sticks on fine. And that is it. This phone case is so simple and it's so nice. And it's a little bubbly, but that's fine. It's not the most perfect thing, but I think it turned out great. So I'll see you guys in the next video, and bye!